It don't happen. Stop brainwashing poor members with the sowing seed. Pastor Kumui tells other pastors hmm. the liberation and the judgment of God will start from the church. The last time it was uh, Adeboye, Adeboye, yes, Adeboye of Redeem. Now Kumui. The next one you are going to hear his voice will be Pastor Chris uh, 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 Omenkenome or uh, Senior Prophet of uh, Winners Chapel, Oyedepo. Then before uh, Paul Ejeche, Paul Ejeche is an independent soul. I'm not, I'm not sure he will say anything that we, that we data his, uh, his, uh, his uh, um, what would I call it, his um, contributions from the church members but i tell you the truth this one don't me talk am don't me talk am now pastor of deeper life pastor kumui now they tell other pastors say may they stop the brainwash so you know say na brainwash and the brainwash people you are speaking the truth now simply because maybe you are no you, you are nothing you can use money to do again you don't get get old more or less, maybe you have just come some couple of years or more, even months to stay before you kick the bucket. Confession at the old age. <laughs> so all those ones you bring what? Can you return their money? That is the question. But the answer is zero. <laughs> anyway, my people, I beg, I just beg, I give this one to wash on a morning so that uh, people, when they criticize me, they also know, say, this matter now, you don't reach both OKK and Okavo. Very soon, you go see so everybody now go begin to carry their own church. They go to their, their house. Make pastors and their families worship in their own churches because this uh, contribution is done there too much. Everybody want to ride a private jet. Look at the mess the so-called uh, Jeremiah Moto here is doing to the body of God or to the, to the body of church, rather. Making just office and using it as caricature. Selling everything celebrity very soon. When I go see that man called Jeremiah Omoto Fufuye, he go bring his wife now and say, Buy my wife. If you buy it, you are going to live everlasting. If you climb on top of her, you are going to be a Jesus Christ. <laughs> I bet you're not mind me, but not true. Nothing Jeremiah know they sell. Jeremiah now don't they even they sell Nigerian flag. <laughs> miracle ATM. Miracle this, miracle that. Miracle money. And I never see anybody who come out to confess that he, he buy that miracle money of 1,000 naira and, and uh, three months the thing come down to 1 billion or 1 trillion naira. Anyway, sure. Let us proceed. Please, there's no time to tell time. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Happy New Day. Nigerian Army don't retire 50 generals from service. Tunumbu solidifying his emperor kingdom. Nigerians don't know what is about to happen to them. Turumbu might be the last. If Turumbu is not the last president of the zoo, go and mark my word. Turumbu will be, Turumbu will be the life president of Nigeria. Life. Life. When I mean life, I mean life. Eternity. Until death do him part. I mean do us uh, part. Uh, what do you call it? Do us part. If Turumbu is not the last president of Nigeria, Turumbu will be the life president of Nigeria. Go and mark this word. Is it not up to 24 hours Turumbu assume office as a president of Nigeria? Do you know how many generals? More than 100 people. This guy retired. General that they, even some people never reach to the age of retirement. Turumbu retired them. For afraid of coup when he mismanaged the country. Now the rumor don't they circulate say Christopher Musa want to conduct a coup against Tunumbu because Taori the Labaja, who is a Yoruba man, they call Yoruba man, they don't try that one go abroad for treatment. So hearing that rumor now, or I'm still say uh, when they talk the rumor, my brother, in any every rumor, uh, there's an atom of truth to need. Every rumor, every propaganda, there's an atom of truth to need. Tunumbu have sensed that generals now are beginning to have a secret meeting 
He wants to scatter them now. He don't retire 15 generals. If they tell you how much money they are paying to train all these people. For a president who knows anything about military system or whatever, he come out one morning and decide, decide to retire all of them. And nobody saying anything. A Nigeria of 200 million people. When you tell them that Tunumbu have captured Nigeria, they say it's a lie. When you tell them that Buhari of 215 is not the same thing with Buhari of 219, they say Nigeria is too big. Tunumbu is building himself an empire to become an emperor. But if you ask them now, people who say they are professors or whatever say Nigeria is too big. Even people who don't go to school say Nigeria is too big for you to come and take that country. Look at what Tunumbu is doing. Gradually building it. Gradually building it. By the time he completes four years in office, nobody will have mouth to say anything. Tunumbu who is a protester. People who went out there to protest. They just did a memorial protest. This is, I think yesterday is the four years that they massacred hundreds of Nigerians with Nigerian flag. They went out there to me just memorial gathering. Police brutalized them, pack all of them and put inside Black Maria. And the police come out and tell us that it is illegal. Nobody will ever tell you this thing. But wait for it. It is playing out little by little. It is playing out little by little. It will get to a point whereby even if you are an opposition party, if you say them, you will go in for it. All this thing P2B is doing here, dangling up and down. It's because Tunubu never solidify his stand. Those ways, let him solidify it. Let P2B go and ask what happened to Lufalaye. Let this thing go and ask what happened to Fusho Williams. And other people who want to stand as opposition when Tunubu was a government, I mean, it was a, gov a governor of Lagos State. What is their end? That is the question to ask. P2B, <laughs> your end is going nearer. So you are supporting a uh, uh, Yakubu go on against your own people. You go see now, nah? no problem. Let us proceed. You don't retire 15 army generals. Army headquarters speaks on chief of army staffs reported dead. The man don't buy now, nah? but I don't know on a see the cover. Up. I was cleaning bullets and sleeping where bombs are kept in Libya. Jackpot survivor narrates. So, my people, help me like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe. The general superintendent of the Deeper Life uh, Christian. Ministry, Pastor William Skumuyi has urged Nigerian pastors to stop brainwashing their members with seed sowing for financial prosperity. It never existed anywhere. Give money for you to get rich. God is not into MMMMM. But trust me, trust my people. They will troop into my comment section now, even castigate me. But they will not castigate Kumuyi who made that comment. Nigerian News report that the clergyman appealed while preaching at a Christian meeting on Friday, which is uh, uh, October 18th. Kumuyi said that the ideal thing is for poor church members, especially widows, to receive help from their pastors by providing solutions to their needs and not being exploited with seed sowing. Kumuyi, now he talk this one. He also expressed concern about um, how church founders are getting richer at the expense of their poor members. He said Elijah added value to the people that are low and those widows that cannot pay back. That is what the anointing does in our lives. You add value to people, to those who are down, raise them up. Those who are poor, make them rich. There are preachers. They take the little that the widows have in our nation here. They say, if you sow seed to the Lord, we multiply it a hundredfold. Let us be sincere. If you are a preacher like that, and you are here, let's talk. Those widows have next to nothing. Then we, we preachers, we brainwash them, and we tell them, and those poor widows, what can they do? When you complain, they tell you you're an antichrist. Or maybe they tell you there is devil in you that is saying that and not you. They just believe every word we speak and all they have. Inheritance from their late husbands they put at the apostles' feet. And after they have done that, God bless you. God bless you. Everybody can say that. And the widows go back home empty-handed. 
Examine yourself. All those people that have given everything as their prophet told them in our land, where are they today? How are they feeling? How are their children doing? How are they, are they sending their children to school instead of the prophet that had millions and billions of naira? Millionaire, millionaires already, instead of him looking for the widows who their children are not in school and sponsor them just for God's glory. We don't have that. We, have, we only have uh, those that take from the widows and render them poorer. And they are getting richer and richer and richer. Pastor Kumuyi, now take this one. For this moment, I remain your one and only follower. <laughs> Before, I didn't believe in you. But now, for saying this, I will follow you in all your social media handles. The preachers of today are getting richer at the expense of the poor members of their church. Let somebody speak out, tell our prophets, preachers, and bishops that this ought not to be. In the case of Elisha, in the transformation of the nation, he added supernatural supply to the suffering widows, not collecting the one, the little one they have. Nigerian army don't retire 15 generals from service. So Nigeria Army has officially retired 15 senior officials from East Artillery Corps, making a significant transition within the ranks. The retired personnel include 11 major generals and 4 brigadier generals, who have played crucial roles in providing heavy firepower support to frontline forces during their service. The retirement ceremony took place at the Nigerian Army School of Artillery in Kaduna State where their contributions of the ongoing generals were acknowledged. The artillery corps is known for its vital role in delivering artillery support in various military operations, enhancing the operational capabilities of the military. In a post shared on Earth, formerly known as Twitter, the Nigerian Army celebrated the achievements of the retiring officers. It read, the Nigerian Army formally pulled out 15 retired generals from the artillery corps on Saturday, October 19, 2024, during a ceremony at the Nigerian Army School of Artillery in Kachia, Kaduna State. The group of retirees included 11 major generals and 4 brigadier generals. Speaking on behalf of the retired generals during the pulling out parade, Major General James Mayam, retired, reflected on their long military careers, expressing expressing a fulfillment and gratitude. He attributed their successes to divine grace, acknowledging God's protection throughout their years of service. He also extended his appreciation to Bola Ahmed Tunumbu for the opportunity to serve and thank the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Taurij Labuanja, wishing him continual strength and wisdom in his leadership of the Nigerian Army. Looking back, Major General Mayam recalled the beginning of their military journeys when they reported uh, to the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna as officer cadets. He offered advice to the officers still in service, urging them to remain loyal to the constitution and the democratically elected government while maintaining vigilance and security uh, consciousness. The retired generals are expressed are also uh, Okay, also express gratitude to the families, spouse, friends, instructors, and mentors who supported them throughout their careers. The event was attended by several senior retired and serving military officers, including former chief of army staff, Major General Alekali Kaziri retired, the statement raised in powers. The army headquarters also debunked the rumors of the reported chief of uh, army staff uh, dead. The Nigerian Army has firmly refuted rumors alleging about the death of Chief of Army Staff, Taurid Labaja, branding the report as fake news. In a statement issued via its official ex handle at Headquarters Nigerian Army, the Army disclosed claim that uh, Lieutenant General Labaja had died of cancer, describing the speculations as unfounded. The rumors suggested that the Chief of Army Staff had passed away in an undisclosed hospital overseas due to the stage 3 cancer, a claim attributed to an unnamed senior government official. But describing the report as fake, the army said, please disregard the rumors circulating about the death 
of the chief of army staff. False report reported by unverifiable source is baseless and misleading. The public are advised to rely on credible sources for information and disregard such misinformation from unreliable sources. Lieutenant General Alabaja, born on February 8, 1968, in Ulobu, Osun State, was appointed by Bola Ahmed Tunumbu in June 2023 as the 27th Chief of Army Staff of Nigeria. I was cleaning bullets and sleeping where bombs are kept in Libya, Jaguar survivor narrates. Alaje Kante, a survivor of human trafficking, shared his harrowing journey from Gambia to Ethiopia, sorry, from Gambia to Europe, during a recent ECOWAS parliament meeting with youth in Bangor. Banjul, so to say. Kante, the only survivor among 11 individuals trafficked to Italy, recounted his ordeal, emphasizing the life threatening risk faced by those seeking a better future abroad. Speaking candidly, at the meeting, Kante described his travels through Senegal, Mali, and Burkina Faso, noting that it was nothing short of a miracle that he had survived the treacherous journey. His, his account painted a grim picture of the dangers encountered along the way, particularly during his time in Libya, where he lived for four years from 2005 to 2009. According to him, in Libya, we were arrested and kept in the cell for nine months. I couldn't communicate with anybody in Gambia. I was taken to Misrata, Misrata, a city in northwestern Libya, situated 187 kilometers to the east of Tripoli on the Mediterranean coast to work. For six months, I was cleaning their bullets. I was sleeping in the place where they kept their bombs before I eventually ran away. He said earlier in Burkina Faso, they were attacked by bandits and taken uh, to a cell where they were requested to pay 10,000 sefa before they were allowed to rejoin the bus they were traveling in. Then we went to Agadez and met around 60 people there who joined us on the journey. Bandits attacked us and asked us all to get naked. They searched all of us and took all our money. We were naked from morning to evening, he added. Kante, who is now married with children, said he witnessed many deaths on his way to Italy. He added that as of now, if you give me a visa, I'm not going anywhere. I don't have anything there, here, but I have peace and security. Now here you go, Endo. Make on a like, share, comment, and make sure on a keep subscribing for better experience.